Okay, so. so tell me, what was uh, Somalia like right before you left? Right before I left, it was beautiful, very good, strong country. What did you used to do when you were there? When I was there, I was student number one, high school, and I used to learn about the cars mechanically. And uh, body shop, we used to play guitars. And uh, after a couple of years, I decided to go United States with my uh, me and my friends, two of them. We came to United States of America in 1987. First day I came was January, and it was really cold. And uh, what was it? like? I came to the airport, JFK airport. And I was dressed up like normally, African way. In Africa, we don't know what cold is, what snow is. Even we don't have no name of snow. Periodly, like when you put in the water, the ice. That's the only we know. Ice we make the fridge here. I came outside. I want to just smoke. Before I came to outside, I see my mouth coming in smoke. And I was look around, look around, I don't smoke, and nobody else close to me smoking. But my mouth coming in smoke, and I said, hey, hey, what's going on here? Am I dying here? My mind was like, what the hell is going on here? Because my mouth coming in smoke. And I was inside my body was shaking. And I said, hey, what the hell is going on in this land? I look around, everywhere I look around, it was white. And I, what the hell is this? Believe me, I don't know what the snow is. I never beat the snow country. I never even have no clue what cold is. I born a warm, beautiful, nice continental Africa. We don't have even no history about cold. We moved to what? Toronto. That's what I set up. Me and my friends. After that, here we go. We started working, going to school, and now we started driving taxi so that we can, you know, support our families, support our. Uh, back home and uh, getting married, I have uh, four kids, life's good, life was good in Canada. Oh, who's this? Oh. And, uh, you guys are lucky, you have everything in here, but back home now it's real rough, especially Africa, yeah, educationally, morally, but yeah, one day it's gonna be. A... African need that. African need. The people are disciplined. They are a good people, but the government are not. No matter if you are South Africa, Somalia, Kenya, you know, all over you look at Africa is corrupted. The government are corrupted. People have doesn't have no power, no free speech, no freedom. Hey, if you don't have those, you will never success in life. We have your Yeah, the, uh, smokers. Yeah, the, you know, we have some kind of we call like our Somalia, what they call cha or cat. Uh, it, Chad, it's like kind of leaves. That leaves, when you chew, it's like mushrooms. That's what they call mushrooms in here. Like it's nature, mm -hmm. it's leaves. So when they chew, they get high mm -hmm. for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. It's helped them some way. Mm -hmm. 
it helped. But if you look other part, it's unhealth. When they chewing, like the way I say, it's high. They talk. They drinking like a lot of water, drinking a lot of tea. So that's why they get in that three, four hours. We came to the train, New York subway, and one thing I never forget was in back to Africa or Somalia, you will never see a white man begging you. Asking you change. And I was like, I said, what? I have a lot of money in my pocket. And I said, look, 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 look. Why am I begging me now? Look at this guy. And I said, hey, finally. You know, a black man begging for a white man. Oh my God, this is good. I put my money, I give $20. And everybody said, no, don't, don't, don't give me $20. Give me $5 or $1. I said, no, hell no, just leave him alone. I just, you know, but that's my language. I said, leave me alone. You know, I never see American begging poor African. This is, you know, cool. And after that, you know what I do? I was so calm. I said, okay, that's fine. That's really fine. That's, you know, that's my story. I see in the United States, when I came, I was 18 years old. But one thing, guys, let me tell you one thing. Good thing is I see this country, every time I look around, the people of the United States, they call them, what a shitty country. This is not a shitty country, but you guys are lucky to have this education, to have this opportunity. Other third world countries, they don't have. They are not having any fun like in the United States. That's what I was telling you and Salam Alaikum.